So now I'm going to talk about the infrahyoid muscles. So they've got the opposite action to the suprahyoid muscles, so they depress the hyoid bone. So again, there are four muscles in the infrahyoid group. So the infrahyoid group of muscles are referred to as strap muscles because they look like straps. Um, so th there are four muscles in this group. You've got the sternohyoid, the omohyoid, the thyrohyoid, and the sternothyroid. So I'll just run you through those. So the first muscle is this muscle which extends from the hyoid bone to the posterior aspect of the sternoclavicular joint. So because it attaches to the hyoid and the, the sternum, it's called the sternohyoid bone. And what this muscle does is that it depresses the hyoid bone after swallowing. So this is this muscle which runs down from the hyoid to the posterior aspect of the sternum. So you can see that there. So that's the sternohyoid. Annoyingly on this model, it doesn't have one of the muscles. So I'm going to whip up an old school Gray's anatomy image and show you that. So here we go. I just showed you on the um, 3D model the sterno, um, the sternohyoid, and lateral to that you've got the omohyoid. So this muscle originates on the scapula here, the superior, um, the superior border of the scapula, just medial to the suprascapular notch. So it originates here, and it runs through the posterior triangle into the anterior triangle and inserts onto the hyoid bone. So this muscle depresses and fixes the hyoid bone and it's got two bellies. You've got this superior belly and you've got this inferior belly and you've got this intermediate tendon here. So there, it isn't shown on this diagram but there's actually a little fascial sling which attaches the intermediate tendon to the um, medial end of the clavicle and that separates the inferior belly from the superior belly of the omohyoid. So the omohyoid lies lateral to the um, sternohyoid. So just coming back to this 3D model, so the position of that muscle I just showed you, the omohyoid, would be lateral to this muscle, the sternohyoid. So it would insert here on the hyoid bone and run um, inferiorly and posteriorly to insert onto the scapula back here, so it runs up through through the posterior triangle and into the anterior triangle to insert onto the hyoid bone and it fixes and presses the hyoid bone. So you've got um, two muscles which lie under the, the omohyoid and the sternohyoid bone. So you've got the thyrohyoid bone which originates on the oblique line on the thyroid cartilage, so on the oblique line of the lamina of the thyroid cartilage and it attaches to the hyoid bone. Um, so I'll just actually remove the sternohyoid so we can have a look. So on this model this muscle is shown as one muscle and in but in real life there, there are two muscles um, which are which are sort of continuous. So the this portion here which attaches to the thyroid cartilage and inserts onto the hyoid bone is the thyrohyoid um, muscle and its action depends on which part is fixed. So if the larynx is fixed then it will depress the hyoid bone. So it generally does depress the hyoid bone but if the hyoid bone is fixed it can elevate the larynx so it can raise the larynx and then you've got um, this muscle here. So the, in this diagram it's shown as one big muscle but it's actually two. So you've got the upper bit which is the thyrohyoid and this lower bit which is called the sternothyroid because it attaches from the sternum to the thyroid. So this muscle draws the larynx downwards. So because it's attached to the sternum it draws the larynx down. So the sternothyroid and the thyrohyoid run in continuity just deep to the 
Omo hyoid and Sterno hyoid. So just quickly to recap, you've got four infrahyoid muscles. You've got the sterno hyoid, and you've got the omohyoid, which are superficial. So the omohyoid um, is lateral to the sterno hyoid, and it runs from this scapula through the posterior triangle and inserts onto the hyoid bone and has a intermediate tendon which inserts onto the middle end of the clavicle. And then superficial, just lying sorry, deep to these, the omohyoid and the sternohyoid, you've got two muscles. You've got the thyrohyoid and the sternothyroid muscles. So four muscles, infrahyoid muscles that you need to know.